It's been half a year since Pharrell's Something in the Water Festival returned to the oceanfront. And while the festival generated a lot of excitement in the city, how well did it actually perform? Brenna McIntosh joins us in the studio now to break down some new numbers presented to City Council. Brenna? Roughly 33,000 people attended both days of the music festival. And as you may remember, severe weather canceled the third day. But despite that, the festival still generated a positive return on investment for the city. It's been six months since the much anticipated return of something in the water was cut short due to an EF3 tornado. Still, Virginia Beach City Auditor Lyndon Ramias calls the event a success. I think if you talk to Live Nation and, and Pharrell as well as the city, um, to accomplish, uh, you know, the various stakeholders' goals. The Institute for Service Research presented their findings to City Council on Tuesday. The organization found something in the water generated an economic impact of 26 to 29 million dollars. For every dollar the city spent on holding the festival, it got a return of a dollar and four cents to a dollar and 18 cents. Despite the weather. Um, I think everybody had a great time, and that's what the city was aiming for. Ramia says council set aside $2 million for the 2023 festival. They said, you can keep up to $2 million, but it's granted you make the $2 million. Ramia says the festival generated $970,000 in tax revenue, and that's all festival organizers will get to keep. Ramia says the remaining roughly $1 million will stay with the city as unexpected tourism investment funds. In regards to Beach It, the inaugural festival generated an economic impact between roughly $11 and $13 million. It's a brand new event. Year. Another positive return on investment for the city. Ramia says of the $1.5 million in funds council set aside, Beach it generated roughly $350,000 in tax revenue. The report shows a high percentage of attendees said they were likely or very likely to return for another festival. 79% for Something in the Water and 85% for Beach it. Back to you. And another inaugural event took over the oceanfront this summer, Jackalope Fest. The Action Sports Festival had a negative return on investment for the city, according to that report presented to Council. The festival has a three-year contract with the city.